Hello friends, <clears throat> I got a PlayStation 3 for Christmas and <clears throat> I'm going to change out the uh, hard drive, the 320 gigabyte hard drive for an SSD. This one's sitting around doing nothing. It's only 120 gigabytes, but I had, uh, I had a PlayStation 3 before and 120 gigabytes was plenty. So I already did a backup, uh, backup of the, you know, whatever back. I already backed up the hard drive to this flash drive that took about 25 minutes. This one has the update, new update software from the Sony PlayStation 3 website. Uh, after I replace the hard drive with the solid state drive you have to put this in and go through the process of rebooting it so this comes off oh, this opens up actually pops off but there's a screw there this and after you remove the screw you can pull off this tab there's a little, this is actually a tab, this comes off, and um, you can slide out the hard drive. So, I will, I will be back after I've done all that. Hi, I'm, I'm back. Due to operator error, I uh, skipped the part of me removing the old hard drive. But, um, this, this tab is, can be pulled off, and it... It, if it, it's, it could be kind of hard to stick your finger on this. So what I do is stick the Phillips screwdriver in the little screw hole and push it out. See? See? Moved out the tab a little bit. There you go. So here's the... Tray. I already, I already made the change to this SSD, and um, <clears throat> down, you know, I rebooted it with the the PlayStation, the the PlayStation Three update software, which right now is four point eight one. And it works fine. Um, tools, I guess, you know that you've got to have. You got to have a small Phillips, uh, one USB to to uh, you know do to download the. Um, I mean, one to you, yes, one USB flash drive to download the uh, the software, the update uh, software for the. PS3, and if you have a second one, you might want to do a backup first, and that'll save you the trouble of downloading the applications and inputting passwords and stuff like that. And music files too; it saves music and video files that you have already have in the system. And just as a reminder for newbies, the hard drive, the old hard drive, the spinning platter inside the you know, the PS3 and the PS4 is sensitive to shock. If you drop it, if it gets bumped, you can call, you cause problems in the uh, hard drive. So that's another good reason. That's another good reason to uh, go, f go to SSD and makes the whole system more durable. If you, um, you know, bump gets bumped, bumped around from moving or something like that. Take it to your friend's house, uh, and some people do transport it. Anyway, that's uh, that's uh, that's enough of my sermon. You take care. Have a wonderful Sunday.